Hey everybody, it's Alicia from Graceful Plants, and today Jack and I are going to go do some plant shopping at Lowe's. <laughs> but John's busy, so Jack and I are going to go check out Lowe's and see what they've got. The last couple of times that I've been down here, I've been really disappointed, but you're not going to have a winner every time you go shopping, right? But I can see in the window and I'm seeing a lot of green. So that's promising because the last time we were down here, there was nothing. So I'm going to get back there, get little man <laughs> his shoes and socks back on. And then we're going to head on in and see if we can find something good. Hey, you want to go plant shopping? <gasps> you still got yogurt on your face and you look like you just woke up. Yeah, yeah? you want out? You want out? Okay, let's get you out. Sorry, I, can, I already can tell you, but Lowe's is looking good. Jack. Hey, Jack. Oh, he's got yogurt in the back of his head, too. Oh, I'm, a bit, I'm a bad mom. Can you tell we had yogurt for lunch? There is a lot of Norfolk Island, Island Pines, which I probably will get one of these because I've been wanting one, but I've been waiting till the holidays when they're cheaper. Because everybody's got them on the holidays. Oh. That's a pretty good sized plant. I think these were five let's see if you can see that. Five ninety eight. That's cute. And they also have the bigger ones for ten or nine ninety eight for ten bucks. All right, so I need a little help with this. So, here is a spider plant. And they call this one a Hawaiian spider plant. However, I feel like it looks like my Bonnie Curly spider plant. And I've heard people saying that there is a difference, but I can't tell what it is. So if anybody can tell me what the difference is between a Hawaiian spider plant and a Bonnie Curly spider plant, I would greatly appreciate it. We have lots of pothos. Lots and lots of pothos. Lots of parlor palms. These blue star ferns are just so pretty. A kangaroo paw fern. $15.98. Really big golden pothos down there. Oh, everything is super neatly organized. So they must have just got a shipment in lately. Everything's looking really happy and healthy. I see a couple little crown of thorns here. $5.98. Ivy, a few little crotons, some petonia, a lot of the more normal stuff, I don't know if you want to say. Look at the size of this leaf, though. Holy cow. That's a golden pothos leaf. $15.98. That's huge. Wow. 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 Five bucks says he's thinking about chucking his shoe in that trash can. this. This is different. There's not a name tag on it, so if anybody could tell me what that is, that's different. It looks like little lettuce leaves. So now we're down a sock and the other shoe. 
I wonder who that belongs to. <laughs> Is those yours? We're just going to start the collection up here. Here's another one I've never seen before. This one's obviously an ivy, but there's no tag. Oh, oh, I think there's a tag on this one. Gold Angel. Gold Angel Ivy, I think it says. That one's different. right there. There are quite a few of the lemon cypress trees, which these are really nice. They smell like lemon when you touch them. Very, very nice. And if you live in the right zone, you can plant these outside in the spring, but I know for certain I am not in that zone. Yeah, zones seven through 10. So if you live down south, you can put those outside. Up here in the frigid north, you're just going to have to leave them inside. So, there's a four, few more just regular cypress. No, no, no. Okay. Looks like we're going to make it a short shopping trip. Dap, dap, dap. There's some snake plants down there. So, here's... Philodendron Brazil. This is 15.98. It's a little sparse, but it's still not bad. Lots of ivies. Lots of palms. And then over here. They do have quite a few new ZZs. There's some burgundy rubber trees. I haven't seen these here in a long time. That looks like it's about it. Everything else is same old, same old, unfortunately. Darn. Do you want to take that home, Jack? You want that one? Okay. All right, so we're home. Unfortunately, Lowe's was a little bit of a bust. They did have a lot of new plants and everything looked really good, really clean, and really organized. <laughs> but uh, there just wasn't anything that I either don't already have or I'm just not interested in. Um, I was really excited to go um, see what they had because I had seen a couple people had posted um, in a few groups that they had found Hindu ropes at Lowe's and it seems like there's a pattern like no matter where you are in the country it kind of seems like the Lowe's get the same types of plants from, the same, from their distributors at the same time but yeah and then, if anyone can tell me the difference between that Hawaiian spider plant and the Curly Bonnie spider plant, I would greatly appreciate it because it's going to look the same to me. But I know I've, I've had people tell me that they have curly spider plants. <laughs> they have uh, curly spider plants and then they have Hawaiian spider plants. And I don't know the difference because they look the same. But yeah, if you could tell me what the difference of the two is, I would greatly appreciate it. I'll probably do a little bit more research on it once baby goes to bed tonight. Um, but did any of you guys come across a Hindu rope at Lowe's recently? Um, I feel like a lot of people had said that they'd picked one up. So, kind of curious. Is anyone out there picked one up at Lowe's recently? As always, you guys are awesome. Please make sure to like, comment, and share my videos. If you like this video or any of my other videos, please make sure to share them with your plant-loving friends. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.
Hey. Hey. I'm trying to film a video. <laughs> you don't care that I'm trying to film a video, do you?